The chart of accounts is the hub of your accounting. It's a central place where you decide how you organize your transactions. Every account or category you use in QuickBooks for every transaction comes from the chart of accounts. Let's understand the chart of accounts, how it helps you organize your business and how it affects your financial statements. To get to the chart of accounts, go to Transactions and select Chart of Accounts. Every transaction you record in QuickBooks affects at least two of these accounts. Usually, it's the bank or credit card account you spent or received money to, and then an account that describes the reason you spent this money. Let's look at an example. Open Bank Transactions tab. You see a purchase of some staplers for the office. The transaction is already assigned to the correct bank account. You just need to enter the correct category for why you spent the money. Office expenses. Back to Chart of Accounts. The balance for the bank account decreases by what you spend on the staplers. But down in the Office Expenses account, you don't see a balance like you do with the accounts at the top. Let's look closer at the types of accounts to see why. Each account uses a specific type. The type tells QuickBooks what the account should track, either the balance of the account or a total of the transactions for specific time periods. Accounts at the top of the list show you how much you own or owe right now. They include accounts you're already familiar with, like bank accounts or credit cards. They have balances that tell you how much money you have in those accounts or how much you owe. Other accounts, like fixed assets, tell you the value of things you own, like a truck or a warehouse. And liabilities tell you how much you owe, like a mortgage. The owner's equity accounts show you how much the business is worth to the owner. They also help you track ways the owner invests or draws money from the business. You use owner's equity accounts when the owner deposits money into the business or when they withdraw money for their personal expenses. Income accounts help you track the money you receive from customers or donors. Cost of sales and expense accounts, like office expenses, help you track your spending. These accounts don't have balances because they help you track the profit of your business for a specific period. You wouldn't usually want to see how much you spent on office expenses from the time you started your business. Instead, you run a report to see how much you spent for a month or a year. QuickBooks comes with many accounts already set up for you. However, you'll probably want to add some more. When you do, you can add them here by selecting New. Your accounts don't have account numbers by default, but you can learn to turn on account numbers by checking out this video. Note that it's best to work with your accountant to decide the type of accounts that give you the best insight into your business. Now, let's look at a report. Go to Reports. As you categorize transactions, QuickBooks builds your financial statements behind the scenes. These are powerful tools that let you and your accountant know how your business is doing. Let's look at the Profit and Loss Report. The Profit and Loss Report shows all your income, cost of sales and expenses for a specific period. These are the same accounts you see in your chart of accounts. The total for sales is a sum of all transactions you categorized as sales income during this period. The total for expenses is a sum of all the transactions you categorized as expenses during this period. And the office expenses total includes the stapler expense we recorded earlier. The final line subtracts all your cost of sales and expenses from your income to show you the profit. Now you have a basic understanding of what the chart of accounts is and how it affects your transactions and financial statements.